Howdy y'all, uh, just coming out here today, checking on the chicken eggs. I wanted to show you a little bit about that. Uh, so, I don't know if you've seen my videos, my previous videos, but I wanted to get my chickens to start laying their eggs in these nesting boxes. And I had put some fake eggs in there to start, see if they would start, uh, laying their eggs in it um but they would kind of still get back in their coop once in a while and lay their eggs only i could only get a couple of them at a time to lay their eggs in the nesting boxes so what i did is i went ahead and shut the door on their coop during the day so they wouldn't get back in the coop um and so far they've all started pretty much laying their eggs in the nesting boxes every day now. Uh, got three eggs in there so far, so that's good. Hopefully I get the other two in there by the rest of the day, but that's just depending on if they want to lay it or not. Um, the only problem with doing this this way is I have to remember to come out here and open up the door before it gets dark and you know, that can be tough if you know if we gotta be gone all day and aren't back before it gets dark and that leaves the chickens out at night and subject to predators and whatnot but i'm hoping eventually they'll learn to just keep laying their eggs in the nesting box and then I won't have to shut the door on them during the day, uh, but we'll see how it works out. Um, but, you know, I just kind of wanted to talk about homesteading and what it means to me and why homesteading. Um, but, you know, there's just a few reasons, you know, why I've got into this and why I want to do this. Um, you know, one, as a, as a veteran, I got into it to find healing. I, I found a lot of veterans getting into it and finding purpose and healing in it, you know, getting their hands in the soil, working with animals all that kind of stuff and you know um and then another thing is you know as a as a christian um to be a better steward of god's creation uh you know i'm looking into all the different ways to grow food and raise animals and you know, finding out about regenerative agriculture and, and permaculture and, you know, food forests and different stuff like that. It's, it's really teaching me how to be a better steward of God's creation. And, but, you know, and then also as a father, uh, as a child, uh, as a father who has a child that has food allergies, it's a way of finding and growing better, healthier food for my child and his siblings, um, and for the whole family, you know. Uh, and then, you know, another reason is, uh, you know, food security with the times that we're in, uh, you know, being better prepared. I don't really see myself as a prepper, you know, a prepper to me is someone who has a bug out bag and has a place to go in the middle of the woods and or somewhere far off in the middle of the woods or a bunker or something like that. But, you know, homesteading and being self-sufficient to me, you know, I 
it makes you prepared. You're, you're not really a prepper, but it makes you prepared when times get tough. Um, you know, and so those are, I guess, just a few of the reasons why homesteading. Um, but I just want to show you guys my chickens right now. I fed them some red pepper flakes today <laughs> and they've been munching on those. I guess they can't really feel the burn from it and they also, it helps them fight infections, and things like that. Um, hopefully I covered all the bases of why homesteading. Um, you know, I'm sure there's several more out there reasons why but you know that those are the big ones for me uh, but you know, just out here trying to get my garden ready for the year um, trying not to go too big on myself don't want to get overwhelmed and you know Right now, it's just, it's really just me doing it. I, I wanna get my family involved really bad, but that's just gonna happen little by little over time if I keep working with them and keep trying to get them out here, you know. My little ones, they they love trying to get in with me and helping me out, but um, But just lots of things to do around here. I got this big old brush pile here that I need to burn, but where we're at, we're in a major drought and burn bans. Um, I'm, I'm a volunteer firefighter around here and we've been fighting a lot of fires lately. Um, so thinking about getting a uh, wood chipper for that. I, you know, I need the wood chips for my garden and thinking about doing it that way instead of burning. Um, but, you know, then last little thing for right now. Got my all my seedlings started here. Hopefully you can see them well. But a lot of pepper plants and tomato plants few onions and things like that. Um, kind of went crazy on with my seeds and stuff this year and got seed crazy and bought a little, lot of different seeds and I don't really have anywhere to grow them enough grow lights and things like that to get them started indoors but um, got as many as I could going uh, really I don't really need to go that big right now anyway uh, but I'm if I have the room I might direct sow them eventually too so but I think that's about it for today um, thanks for watching and see you next time